Okay, all stars. So this weekly vlog, I am gonna do a quick tour of my office and all the changes I've done there. Um, and then the next weekly vlog will go over all the changes that I've made in the dining area and things of that nature. But everything is coming together. So let's get into the tour. Okay, so first thing in my office that, well, first and foremost, I'm not quite done yet. <laughs> I still have to get a rug and like a little chase to go here. But the first thing in my office that I wanted to get done was of course paint these walls. Uh, I showed you guys me going through the process of painting them. They turned out really well, love the color. Um, I told my daughter that I wanted a gray green um, what, is, what did I tell her? Gray, green, brown color. And she found this. So this is the perfect tone for that. Um, and then I found these bookcases on Amazon. I love them because they have a display and then they have the cabinets. There's a lot of things that I would like to stash away and I don't want to be shown on a day-to-day -day basis, especially since my office is right off of the front door and you come in and there's no doors yet. So for right now, I wanted to make it to where, you know, I could put away some things if I needed to um, and store some things. So I put all my books here, um, display case, uh, some, you know, different mem uh, memories for my grandmother, my mom. Um, and then I got this lamp here, which I can't remember where I got this lamp from. Hmm. I think it was Amazon. Um, then I changed all the plug covers to black. They're only 54 cents at Home Depot. Um, I also got my uh, old ring light and brought it here so I can use that. Um, I have this mirror that I got from Home Goods. It was only like 17 bucks. Uh, so I like the old rusted gold color. Um, I have this chair which I've taken this chair with me from apartment to apartment and now to our house and I didn't know what I was gonna do with it. And then we got here and I thought, oh, okay, we can put it in the corner of my office and it'll match some of my uh, other things. Then I got this pillow from um, Home Goods, and um, then I put the yellow pillow in front. So I have that. It's kind of like my little sitting corner. I wanna make this an additional sitting corner but I need to add like a little chase here and I'm probably gonna make the chase burgundy cause I really love that color right now. Um, so here's my other bookshelf. Now up here is my frames. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put gold frames. They're gonna be uh, 11 by 13 frames with the eight by 10 inset because then I'm gonna put eight by 10 photos inside of it. So I'm gonna lay, I'm gonna put that up on the wall and I'll show you guys how it looks when it's done, but it's gonna be rows uh, three by three, I think. Let me see, there's six. Yeah, so it's gonna be three by three or it's gonna be three top and three bottom. So it's gonna be three, three across by two. So three by two, there we go. And then this shelf, I also put more books. Um, and then up here, I kind of put my little like finisher stuff for all the things I've done. So I got my first 5K, my second 5K, and then I have my uh, million dollar uh, in sales plaque, which most people would think that I put that there to remind myself that I made a million dollars and to celebrate it. And really, I put it there to remind myself never to do that for someone else. <laughs> instead of myself uh, so I never want to work for a company where I make them a million dollars um, in one month but I can't seem to come up with my own million dollars in one month that's not a good look but <laughs> but um this is my record player it's uh, crossly branded I've had it for 
about a year. No, nope, I had it for like three, four years actually. I've had it for a while. Um, and then I have my camera, which I'm gonna start filming my YouTubes on my camera soon. I'm just become so lazy with the the fact that um, I have my phone and my phone has good quality videos. So it's like, what's the point? So this is where I write my to-do lists. I got myself a sketchbook too, so I could write down you know, I can just doodle some things because I like drawing. Then I have a habit tracker. So if I put a task in here, it kind of sets it up to where I can do like my daily habits for any month, any year. So it's not predated, which I love because I can start habits and then I can change them. And then I have this New York book, which I've had for a couple of years now too. But it's pretty nice. It has some um, photos of some things from New York. I love vintage books, so I have a couple of them in my living room as well. So when I do the house tour, I'll show you guys that. Uh, and then I got this lamp here that I got from Amazon. It was a set of two, only for $35. Love it because you can click it off right here on the table. And then it has a little USB port here. So you can charge devices there. Let me put this camera back. I have a little bit of OCD. I like to keep this clean. This is perfect for the entrance though, because keeping things clean over here is important. Okay, so then I have my new laptop, which I got just for you guys, just to edit things for you and to make sure I'm on top of it. Um, and then, Underneath all the mountain of envelopes that I have for different things. This says weed man. That's not what it seems like. This is actually the grass people. Clever name that they came up with, but they actually come and treat your grass and make sure your grass is nice. I have this time next year, Believe Big Journal. This is also undated. Um, Manifest Your Dreams, a daily intentional journal. This is also not dated, which is awesome. Then I have my record collection. Got some Stevie Wonder. Um, I believe I got some James Brown, some other things. I want more records, because I just like having the vinyl. Um, but that's my collection there. Then, to talk about this desk. So, I wanted a traditional desk in a sense. And then I found this, and it's actually a kitchen table, but it's a small one. It's like an apartment sized kitchen table. And I decided I'm just gonna use this as my desk. So eventually I wanna switch it out to like a black lacquer one. But for now, I feel like this one was only 200 and something dollars and I got it from Cons, which is a furniture place out here. Um, and yeah, it was a good bargain, so. It's like, hey, I'll just get that and kind of think outside the box. A lot of their desks look kind of basic, and so I just wanted something that looked a little bit more high-end, a, a bigger space for me to spread out. I usually have multiple devices because I have, like, I'll be editing YouTubes, I'll have my job, and then if I have, like, a contractor role or another position, I'll have another computer. So I needed a space where I can put all those computers and line them up so that if I'm in a meeting at the same time as another meeting, I can take care of that. So here I got my office chair, which usually I get uh, wheels at the bottom, but this time I just really liked how modern this looked. And I really like this suede black and it's really comfortable so far. I like the cushion in the back. It's not too bad. Um, and that chair ran me about 200 and something. It was about the same price as the desk. I also got it from Cons. Um, oh, and I forgot to tell the... I also got the chair from Cons. I think I mentioned that. And then I forgot to tell you the cost of these shelves. So these were 200 a piece or like 190 something. Um, when I got them on Amazon. And these frames also, they cost, um, I believe it was $50 for all six of them um, on Amazon. So, you know, I'm just getting pieces as I go. 
Now, things that I want to change. One, I want to paint the ceiling really badly. I want it to be the same color as the rest of the room. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if that's a good idea or not, but I really like that idea. I also want to get a TikTok rug. I really love <laughs> all of the advertisements that I'm seeing for those rugs where it's only like 40 bucks and they just like, they're just big and they just cover everything. I want it to be black and fluffy and just plush. And I want to put that under the desk and it'll be a nice focal point for the room. Um, like I said, I do want to get the chase chair right here or like a lounger or like a low sofa or ottoman type of thing there. And I also want to get a lamp that goes up from the plug up the corner into the middle of the ceiling. And that's why I want to paint the ceiling too, because I feel like if I do that, if I get that lamp now, it's going to make it look tacky because the, the, the cord's going to be hanging out. But if I paint the ceiling, it'll look less tacky. At least I think. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. But um, other than that, I overall, I pretty much like the office the way it is now. I really like a minimal look. I don't like to add too much to things. I feel like it clutters things up. And in my office, I like to be able to think. And the easiest way for me to think is to have a clean, clutter-free space. So I'll probably take this picture frame and put it up over here in the corner once I find a print for it. Um, something probably mid-century. I really like old vintage looking prints. So I'll probably find something that says New York or something like that that has some some greens that has some some uh browns and maybe a pop of yellow and then put that vintage poster over there so any suggestions are welcome um i feel like this is a good starting point and i can at least film here and get you guys the content that you deserve and be consistent and not take the blessing for granted that I actually have people tuning in and I'm very surprised that people are watching, but I'm, I'm excited nonetheless. So thank you guys for coming with me on this journey so far. And I look forward to making more content for you in this space. <laughs> Talk to you soon.